yo welcome to the knowledge drop a lot of great feedback on the previous videos this far i want to thank sincerely every single person who hit me up with the messages or left a comment or or something like this i got dozens of them and i'm truly truly happy that you guys are inspired so thank you very much first of all but before we start the next one, sign up to the free course series in the link below how to make it past prelims. Actually, why haven't you done it already? It's free of charge and just takes a second. So let's go deeper. The first lesson about foundation, raise some questions with the people. We already dealt with the first aspect, which was power. Next one on the list was form. We'll start with the definition first and later I will give you an exact way on how to make it better. We spoke briefly about drilling before, but now we go more into details. So what is form exactly? Form is a visual appearance of your dance. It's the embodiment of your knowledge and understanding of the art. If we want to understand what is a good form, I would first ask, does your dance visually represent hip hop culture? Hip hop has certain aesthetics, and if your dance manages to bring them out in some way, then we're already onto something. So what are they exactly? Let's go back to 1981. The first major newspaper article on breaking refers to the dance style as the physical graffiti next to a Forster Freeze picture. And remember, this is still time before the whole culture was known as hip hop. So the aesthetics run deep within the culture and this sums it up pretty good. Looking at breaking's movement, it's always over exaggerated, has a certain lean to it, just like the right letters in graffiti and especially the characters next to a piece. So to understand the physical language of hip hop, it's good to study graffiti characters as well. I love the cover of Up Rock the Single by those of Rocksteady because it brings out the style, the lean and the, and the swing and the swagger of both actually, the, the letters and the characters. The over-exaggeration of hip-hop is also rooted and very similar to the movement of comics, which influenced young b-boys and b-girls coming up. So ask yourself that question, would your dance work as a graffiti character? Is your form good enough when it comes to the aesthetics of hip-hop? Here are some of my favorite, favorite forms of all times. Like you can see, they all have a complete control of their whole body. The arm control all the way to your fingertips, uh, the lean, the look, everything vibrates style, not just the legs. <laughs> and I had to drop myself in there as well. I'm proud of my form after working so hard to get it right. So what are the benefits of understanding and having a great form? Simply put, everything that you do afterwards will look dope. Being original, creating any kind of movement is easy, it's natural for us as human beings. But to have all of your creation to be aesthetic in a hip hop frame, that is difficult. That takes deep, deep understanding. If your form is on point, that process becomes automatic. A great form is also economic. What that means is that if your form is weak, you will have to use a lot more strength and stamina for your movement. A common mistake for beginners is that they go high on the back of their footwork and they go low in the front. So they rotate like this. If your form is on point, you stay on the same level throughout the whole basic round. And that saves a lot of energy for your flow. In a good form, a lot of your weight is on your legs instead of only your hands. And like we all know, our legs are a lot stronger than our arms, at least for me personally. So how to get a better form then? First of all, set a goal of how do you want your form to look like. Have a vision of where do you want to get to. Drilling without a vision is useless. It's only going to get you tired and injured. So working towards your vision is what's going to get you there. My days of training martial arts put my understanding and scale of drilling to new heights. My trainer Kaide put me through sessions of 1000 kicks and that's per session. We will look for perfection on each kick and counter kicks all the way until we get onto a 1000. And the same thing put to a breaking context. Me and Hat Solo coming up, we would always listen to stories of Flowmaster training B-Boy Wicked going for a number of rounds of six steps. And of course we would do the same. After we were done with the session, after everything was done, we would start drilling. 20 rounds of six step both directions, as perfect as possible. Quality over quantity. I want you to do the same now, no matter your level, but do it with vision. First of all, think about it. What do you want your footwork to look like? What is your vision of perfect footwork? After you're done with your session, do your first 10 rounds, but film it. Watch your footage and analyze it. What do you need to fix for perfection? Secondly, go for the other 10, but do it with the fixes in place. You already know where you want to go, so it's up to your effort, work and sweat to make it happen. Do this both directions. Once your six step becomes perfect, then your improved form will transform to anything else that you will do afterwards. 
And once you're done with it, let me know personally by adding a comment below saying that you did it so I know that you're on it. Let's keep building from here, y'all. This is Focus of the Flow Mode Crew, bboydojo.com, Cypher Studio, signing out.